Blood water from breaches in Machhar Lake is increasing pressure along Indus Link Canal near Bhan Saidabad town after having inundated several villages in Sevan. The flood water poses serious threat in Bhan Saidabad which has a population of 150,000 and 10,000 flood victims. The Jamshuru Deputy Commissioner Fariduddin Mustafa has issued an alert and asked the town residents to evacuate to safe places. N55 motorway from Bhan Saidabad to Sevan is under flood water and motorway police has completely sealed the highway at Sevan. The death toll from the worst flooding in the country's recent history stands at 1,325. World Bank has announced to support Pakistan in dealing with massive devastation caused by the flooding by reprogramming its existing activities and future programs. The bank would repurpose 300 million US dollars to help flood victims and support flood relief. The breakthrough came after Ambassador Masood Khan held discussions with the World Bank Vice President Martin Razor to appraise the bank vice president and his team about the magnitude of devastation caused by the deadly floods which has affected 33 million in Pakistan. PTI Chairman and former Prime Minister Imran Khan on Wednesday claimed that a conspiracy has been hatched to topple the PTI government in Punjab. Addressing a rally in Chishtia, he said that PTI's Punjab lawmakers were being offered bribes worth millions of rupees. Imran implied that the Punjab government would be toppled via a no-trust vote. Elaborating on his claim further, the PTI chief stated that the conspiracy was being hatched to bring PMLN Supreme Nawaz Sharif back to the country. Prime Minister Shabaz Sharif has decided against retaining any foreign gifts and ordered all presents he received during his foreign visits to be permanently displayed at the PM House. According to a notification issued by the Cabinet, the Premier does not wish to retain any of the gift items presented to him during his visits to Saudi Arabia and UAE, dated April 28th and April 30th, 2022. Furthermore, the PM has directed authorities concerned to make arrangements to display the gifts to acquaint the masses with fraternal ties with the friendly countries. The gifts include one wristwatch, pair of cufflinks, pen, a ring and others.